Every summer, schools emphasize the importance of maintaining those summer reading skills to students, but they don't always listen. Yeah, Fenville Schools is trying to take what some kids call a chore and make it fun. Catherine Ducharme has details on how the district is getting students involved with books this summer. I have a pixel heart cookie cutter. Kids spending time on YouTube these days usually means watching YouTubers. Don't judge me. But this summer, students are turning the page. They're using YouTube in a constructive way. But this was getting ridiculous. This is the fourth grade teacher that came up with the idea. There's a story that goes up on mine in the morning at 8 o'clock every day. Most of the time, I think they just listen to the story. But it still provides them with rich vocabulary, and um, they get it introduced to a lot of the different staff at the school here. Teachers, bus drivers, the superintendent, just about everyone helps out. There's fiction, there's nonfiction, um, some of their favorite classic stories. Like if you give a mouse a cookie. He's going to ask for a glass of milk. And the kids love it. How often do you guys go on? Mm, only a few times a day, probably. Like every day. It's a win-win for students. It made me like more interested like in the books. And parents. Knowing that my child's online reading a book, it's a little easier for me to handle than, you know, 10 minutes on Fortnite or whatever. <laughs> the big plants became small plants. The big rocks became small rocks. Now, when the series was first introduced, there were 20 subscribers. There's now more than 150. The goal is to get to 1,000 so that they can start live streaming videos. It works. They tricked yeah. them, but it works. Yeah, it does. So